Yo, what's up? It's not Meta Man. I'm back again with another video for you guys. In this video, we're actually going to be doing our top 10 battle cards in the game. So, we actually have different lists because, you know, we're different mandem. We're not the same. So, Kevin has his list. I have my list. We're going to go from um, 10 to number 1. 10 being the, the least of the list. 1 being the best. So, yeah, let's get into the video, guys. So, Kevin, yeah. who's your number 10? My number 10? Alright, so, if you guys recall, I mean, like last year when I went set 4 camo, I pulled a very special card, my first ever SCR. My face was, was all like, you'll see it on, on the on the, on the screenshot Jamal post, but maybe I'm just better opening. Oh, the SCR! Really? I'm the SCR, they're all the SCR! Oh, no, <laughs> no, Kevin! I found the camo now! Shout out to my boy Calvin now, nah. but it happens to be the Super Saiyan 4 Son Goku from set 4. Um, yeah, no, I would say it's my favorite card, or set 3 rather. I'd say it's my favorite card, not in terms of um, necessarily the ability you're using, which is actually pretty good. Um, but just because it was my first STR that I pulled, I'm a pretty um, sentimental kind of guy. So that's why it's my top 10, because it's always going to be a memory that I have playing this card game. Yeah. What about you, man? For me, first up, I have none other than Broly, the Supreme Berserker. So this card right here, man, um, it's, I like, I, first of all, I just like the art, like it looks super sick. This is actually the SPR of the card. Um, it has the, the nice like gold foiling with the Broly in the background, it's black. It's just sick, like the, the use of the card is really cool. You are swing and untap and all these different things. You get to see your opponent's hand. I just really like it as a card and, and it works really well in the Broly decks. So yeah, this is my number 10. All right, my number nine. This is going to go back way. Um, I'm going to go way back to set one, um, when the first deck I had was a Vegeta deck. And shout out to Danny um, for getting me into into Vegeta decks. He gave me my first Vegeta leader. And from since then, I started making um, a deck around that. And then my top nine card would be me to have God Charge Vegeta, um, dual attack, critical, and like. This was a card in my Vegeta deck I always wanted to try to get off. I did quite a few times and it was just really fun to try to um, to, to play into it. And then even from that dude leading up to, to summon one hit destruction Vegeta, which was like the, the free evolve with seven or more blue energy. Um, yeah, so throw back to set one, but my number nine favorite card. Yeah, and my number nine is Supreme Showdown Son Goku. This is actually from the Rogue Tournament um, booster box, theme box, and yeah. It's just a really sick card. It has um, the Vegeta card, which is its counterpart, and they work well together. And it's just super sick in the deck. Like I really love the art and the real tournament saga in Dragon Ball Z was really sick too. So yeah. Alright, number eight for me, a set of Vegeta. Um, just going back to the v Vegeta deck theme. It's set one. It's for the staple in like all Vegeta decks. Um, before later cards came out, like the one drops that will let you critical and take a life in one turn. Um, this was so good. Um, the critical 15k for three drop back then, you know that that was uh, like the, the normal. And um, even then, it's like Vegeta, my favorite character in Dragon Ball Z. So I was like, yo, I'm gonna do this man in my deck as much times as I can. So he comes after the, the guard charge Vegeta. Mm -hmm. um, so, number. Seven for me is, of course, none, none other than Supreme Showdown Vegeta. It goes along with the Goku that I just showed. Works really well in the real tournament deck. And like I said before, I really like that era, era of um, Dragon Ball Z. And just like the art, like it's just so sick. Like And the fact that they go together. I wish I had the, the SPRs, but it's all good. But yeah, this is my number seven right here. Right. Um, that was number eight. That was number eight. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Well, you know, let's go to a real number seven. My dog, so I think he's actually a cat, Beerus, um, General of Demolition. Okay, this was like, 
in set one, this is like a card when I went to four on one games in Toronto uh, for the first time trying to like um, get into this card game. I'm like, oh, fifty dollars for a card? Yo, I can't do that. I used to do that in Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm like, yo, I can't save up that much money to pay for a Dragon Ball card. Now this card is worth like what, like two bucks? Like a dollar. <laughs> a dollar. Um, so good thing I didn't buy for that much back then. Um, but triple striker, and then if you attack, you know what it is, right? Your opponent chooses two cards from their hand and put it in their drop, and if they can't, then you basically wipe them and, and go for game. And and um, this was the I guess the, uh, what would you say, the uh, like final end game yeah, for a deck, the boss card. right? The boss card, the end game for a deck. In set one, maybe some set two, maybe even some set three decks. Uh, so that's why I got it as my my number seven. Yeah. So my number seven is this guy right here, announcer, um, play by play pro. This guy is um, he's a one drop counter card. You play it, negate the 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 attack. And then his auto, when you play him, you get to draw two cards with his other real tournament cards in your battle here. And it's just so nice, like it works so well in the real tournament decks. And even like in black decks where you have the power burst as your um, negate, like you were able to add it back to your hand. So it's just a super versatile negate card that you can combo off the field when you need it. And like, it's announcer, like, come on dog, announcer is sick. Alright. Alright, let's go into number six, come on. Can't leave home without your mo with your boy furthering destruction champa. So combine it in, in set one with a man like a Sailor Vegeta, you're hitting double critical. Um, back in days where you might not see it coming, and even if you do, it's hard to, to block or defend against it due to having just limited blockers or or the uh, gates compared to like what we have now. And what you can actually do to, to stop things like this. Um, and yeah. Who doesn't love a double strike critical? I think that's the reason why I had it in my in my top ten. I'm just remembering those times where it was viable. I think it still is viable. Um, I have it in some of my decks. So yeah. Yeah. So um, my number six right here is Saiyan Onslaught Kefla. You know, five drop. It's so good. Like when you use it with Unipatora, you get to draw a card, and then when and it gains five thousand. And then when it attacks, it has dual attack. It gains five thousand and draws a card per attack. And it's just a super sick card. Like. And when Kefla was like going off and the tournament power in the anime, like that was tough too. So yeah, it's really cool to have this card in a, in a deck. And the fact that it's a really good card that people were playing back, like the past for like the past three sets, it's been really good. So like, yeah, that's why this is my number six. And up. All right, top five guys. And to start off my top five, I got Chain Attack Trunks. Um, Versatile card, but in any case, like I would say Trunks in the anime. The reason why a lot of these cards are my favorite is because in the anime, some of these characters, not all of them, are my my favorite characters. So it's like being able to use them in the game as well is pretty sick if you're an anime fan. And yeah, Trunks right. is like I would say. Well, we'll do a video soon on our top ten anime characters, but I would say Trunks is like in my top three for sure. Future Trunks, sick art, but even him coming into the card game. Uh, with, with chain attack is so sick. You got Zeno, and I use him in my pan deck a lot. You can drop a lot of your your one drop, two drop, three drops that are 15k or less. Um, so viable, but also so much fun to use and really easy to get off. Mm -hmm. Whether you're playing it straight, um, hard casting it, or you're involving it for for two onto another chunk, amazing card. Yep. Um, my number five is foreseeing hit. Like Kevin was just saying, he, hit is like one of my favorite characters. Dragon Ball Super, like one hit showed up on the scene and he was doing his time skip in the anime and stuff like that. I was like, whoa, Lee, like this guy is sick. Oh, sick. Super sick, you know. So the fact that he gets a, a battle card that is really good, like just like with the Kefla, um, makes it so much better. And his ability, like you get to see your opponent's hand and take two cards from it. Like that's priceless, fam. So yeah, forcing hit is my number five. Alright, number four. All right, number four, um, throwback to the first expansion pack. You guys already know this is, since I said expansion pack. First overarm card. First overarm card, period. Time patrol trunks, okay? Gives you some deck control, being able to fix up the order after, lets you look at what was at the top, um, the top two cards of your deck and choose one to add to your hand, right? And, uh, and uh, you play for free uh, with no energy, just the, uh, these three cards in your drop for the overarm, as you all know. Um, I don't know if people still use this, but like I haven't used it for a while, but such a fun card to use back then. I think it's still super fun to use. Um, and then you can play it, attack with it, or choose not to and combo with it and get that free card to your hand and be able to control your deck a bit by putting it, um, the other card on the, the top of the bottom, right? Um, yeah, great card. And again, Trunks is like one of my favorite characters, so I'm glad I get to use him in such a viable and good way. Yeah, so my number four is um, Super Saiyan Go Tanks. Like, I know you guys, if you guys started way back in like set one and set two, I know you guys remember this card. This card right here was wreaking havoc. 
in the meta and just in general like it's so it was so sick back then with the green and blue decks um the starter crew leader and and all these different decks like this card is so good double strike um when you play you draw a card and you untap your energy like that was so good back in those metas and yeah this is just a staple to like me entering the game and, and finding out like decks that i like and stuff like that like this was one of my favorite cards to play back then so yeah that's my number four right here all right let's get into top three guys uh, without further ado everybody's on yamcha for my top three if you guys know me uh, i've been trying to pilot yamcha in my pan deck i've been playing pan deck only like only pan consistently for the past like a year and just keep building onto it and yamcha has always been a staple since it came out or since i got this promo card uh, amazing card amazing card being able to search top three deck and take an earthing put to your hand and for, for two costs being able to get it out on, on turn two and it's super fun to use and I think it's also pretty viable and a uh, pretty good card to have in a pan deck or the other like like red deck um, earthling deck etc and it's Yamcha so it's like all your man who rolls who, all your man who rolls Yamcha I'm um, bringing Yamcha back you know what it is okay he's still weak though he's still not weak he's weak but yeah my number three is final showdown Son Goku um, yeah I love this card what it brings to the game like um, and, and it's such an iconic like moment in the anime when Krillin gets murked by Frieza and then Goku snaps and goes Super Saiyan for the first time like what like that was crazy and the fact that you get to relive that in the game is just so sick you get to um, use the Krillins you know kill them off and then you get to play this guy from your hand on your opponent's turn kill one of their battle cards with bear super sick like it's one of my favorite cards even right now I, I still use this in, in one of my decks and yeah it's just a really good card super sick reminds me of the anime and yeah i love it that's my number three right here all right number two so just as a as a disclaimer these cards are not necessarily what we're saying is like number one in the, in the card game right now in the meta again we're not in that manda they're just our favorite right for whatever reason Facts. uh so number two for me sure this might make the deck glass cannon with how i use it in the shenron deck um but evolving into this card is super fun and when you finally get to attack before Bad Ring Laser was banned um, I have my number 2 as Ultra Instinct, Instinct Sign Son Goku being able to do triple attack, triple strike with the, the, the Shenron leader effect um, it, it, it's amazing and if you have Bad Ring Laser being able to negate your opponent's counters um, they can't combo against it when you play it you send all of the cards back to your opponent's hand and it doesn't say choose them and send them so you get to send back cards that even have barriers as well back to your opponent's hand and it just gives you such a good opportunity to finish the game I got a couple wins against Jamal and maybe some other people this and I don't necessarily I haven't necessarily played it um, to, to win per se in those times but just being able to, to get it on the on the board was an accomplishment that was actually really fun to try to do it um and then eventually yeah i started playing to to, to win with it because i kind of found a groove um don't use it as much anymore but it is definitely my number two favorite card in this whole entire game yeah so my number two in this game um at the moment is Son goku and oop seeds of the future mm. yeah this is um the only scr i pulled unfortunately um, although like that this set had a high pull rate for this SCR, I'm pretty sure like everyone got this. But this is one of this is my second favorite card in the game right now. Just because like it's sick. I like I, I like the art, but like the, the way that it works in like the road tournament decks is so nice. And then also it's pretty versatile. Like when you low key in this meta, like the meta is super slow now and like people are ramping up a lot and stuff like that. Just throw this in there and like it works well. So yeah, I really like this card. I think it's a super underrated card right now in the game. And like you're gonna see it pop up in some of the recent videos that we're posting. But yeah, this card is just so nice, so versatile. If you don't own this card, I, I encourage you to pick it up as soon as possible. It's super cheap right now and low key it might go up just because of how good it is and how much the game is slowing down. But yeah, this is my second favorite card in the game. Go for it. And you know, when Jamal makes it to the top of the of the rear charts of Dragon Ball TCG, Dragon Ball Super TCG for, for Worlds, um, and he pilots this as his main card, it's gonna go back up to maybe like, maybe 150 bucks. Just valuing it, valuing it um, right now. At that, I'm gonna evaluate it at that price, so let's keep that in mind. Uh, but before we reveal our number ones, we're gonna do some honorable mentions, okay? So all of mine actually happen, actually happen to be um, green cards, and I guess my only green cards in this, in this video would be these three cards, um, Stout Hearted Android 16, again it's just hand destruction for your opponent, I love doing that with um, go, um, what's the guy? Gotenks when he came out, uh, my Gotenks deck, I might try to do a version 3 video, I, have, I had a version 2 video, check out our, um, 
or, or list of videos, it's it's pretty sick and I had my, my, my version on as well, but you know, both things is sick and this was hand instruction, so it was nice to be able to use that. And then Brawly as well, um, from set one, again, hand destruction, make your points, drop two cards, really fun to do and really screw them over, especially set one, and then um, Kale as well, come on, who doesn't love Kale when it came out, maybe even some of you, some of you still use it possibly, being able to destroy your opponent's board, critical, destroy their life, and being able to draw a card to your hand, right, um, when you're attacking in certain situation, or certain cir circumstances. Yeah, so my three on honorable mentions are actually only have two, so it's the first one is this one right here, Unbreakable Super Saiyan Son Goku. This is super sick. It came up with the the red Son Goku GT um, starter deck. And yeah, it's just been a staple ever since then in a lot of decks that use a lot of defense or attack or whatever it is. Like it's very versatile. You just combo it and you draw one. It's basically super combo for one energy. And yeah, it's been a staple since and it's my um, honorable mention. All right. And then my second honorable mention is um, Finishing Spirit Bomb Super Saiyan. Finishing Spirit Bomb Son Goku, it's, yeah, it, it goes with the green Goku right there. You can actually evolve this onto that green Goku for one energy. You drop a card from your hand, and then when you attack with this card, it's double strike, and you get to choose three green battle cards from your job here and combo with them. So like, you can combo with three of your super combos if they're green. Like, that's super nice, and it goes along with the Frieza Saga that I was talking about. So yeah, that's an honorable mention right there. All right, so before we get to number one, make sure you guys comment below okay on what your top tens are or maybe even your top one card we just want to hear from you just for fun yeah, facts um so for my number one like i said i'm bringing my dogs back to the top because he was never at the top but i'm bringing him to the top okay so uh what's this tournament of power ah geez so you uh heard that part did you duh so he's going off to recruit krillin now hmm 10 fighters eh with 10 spots to fill i'll be getting an invitation for sure but wait when they ask me, I should turn them down and then make a dramatic entrance right before the tournament starts. Hey, fellas! Hmm? Sorry to keep you waiting. Whoa, Yamcha! We'll win for sure now that you're here! Stand back, I got this. <laughs> then I get to play the hero. Now to head home and just wait for them to come begging. Um, Yamcha 100% has roasting me, but come on, it's my number one favorite card. I have it in my pan deck, it's gotta be most of my wins for my pan deck, like majority, like I would say over 50%, I don't have a number, um, but come on, this card is so good. Um, use the first attack, your opponent can't negate it. Um, if you destroy a battle card, your opponent loses two life, but guess what, if they block, and then you win against that blocker, then you're also taking two life from your opponent, and since they can't negate, you're getting that attack in. Um, unless, I don't know, what else could like, like stop it. Maybe when you're playing it like a cold bloodless or whatever it may be. Um, but the good thing is like you can activate it during your main phase. You don't have to. It's not an auto when you play it, so um, you're able to use it the same turn, like the same um, use the effect the same turn you play it, or save it for another turn if you're using a wipe from the field. But it's just super fun to use, super super fun. And it's Yamcha. Like who doesn't love Yamcha? You know, all y'all gonna hate me for that because I think all y'all hate Yamcha. But Yamcha is my dog, so my number one card right now, favorite card in the game. Bro. Go back to go back to the time when Yamcha was getting murked by Cybermen. Cybermen, bro. He's weak. He's weak. But anyways, my number one, guys. My number one card is none other than Awakening Rage Son Goku. I know I've been talking a lot about that Frieza um, scene where Frieza kills Krillin and Goku snaps. But like, guys, like, go back to the anime, like, or think back to your childhood. You're watching that scene at home. And like you see Krillin dying, you're like, oh, Krillin, like, nah. But like, I know he dies a lot, but he dies, and then Goku snaps. He goes Super Saiyan for the first time. Like, imagine the power, like, <sighs> like the power, like you feel it, like the emotion, like Goku is just transforming, his hair is raising up, like, guys, and like look at the art, like, super tough. But yeah, that's basically why I like this card. This is basically why it's my number one right now, just because of the art and the memories that it brings back for me. And yeah, it's just, it's a cool card. Like if Krillin's in your drop rate against triple strike, um, it's pretty sick. But yeah, that's my number one right here. That's sick, guys. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, comment below, and subscribe to our channel for more videos to come. We're not just doing deck profiles, but we got lots of things planned coming up. I don't know if we should give any teases right now. Maybe not. But you guys will see those ideas that are, that are coming yes, up. Definitely stay tuned. Um, share with your friends. And yeah, like if you guys have any things 
um, that you want us to make videos about or if like you mm -hmm. have any um, feedback to give us let us know we're definitely open to that and we're not you know we're trying to grow and we're trying to make content that you guys would love so yeah comment below and let us know but yeah no, I made a man then. No, I made a man then. Oh, peace. See that stuff.